Hi, and welcome to Creations by Tammy, where we DIY, craft, and learn how to Cricut. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make a monogram for a letter and also circle. So if that's something you're interested in, sit back, relax, and we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna start right in Creative Fabrica. I'm gonna pick out my design, bring it right into Design Space. All right, so the first one I'm gonna pick is these flourishes from Creative Fabrica. So just hit download, and then open it up. And I already saved mine, so you would save as, and we'll rename it that. So let me pick one more. All right, let's see what I can find. Try this one. Same thing, download. And open. And then right click and then save as. Right. Now we'll go into design space. All right, so I'm going to upload both of those. So this one. And let me upload the other one. All right, so let me add these both to my mat. So for now, I'm going to move these to the side and let's type a letter. So we'll type the letter F. We'll use Times Roman numeral. So let's make it bigger so we can see and decide which one of these we want to use. So let's hit ungroup. being that they're both the same, move that to the side, and let's group here, and try this one. All right, so now we have, I think I like this one better. We'll start with that one. Arrange in the front so I can kind of see what it looks like. I like how it wraps around. So I think I'm going to go with that. But let's see. So now we're going to want to add in our name. So first let's grab a shape. I'm going to grab a square. I'm going to unlock the square. I'm going to decide how big we want it. Remove this more towards the center, so you can see. I'm trying to figure out where I want that. All right, so I don't want to cover up the whole F part. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to slice out for the name. So what I'm going to do is Slice out my F first, so I'm going to move the flourish out of the way. Because remember, you can only slice two elements at once. So we're going to click on the square, then on the F, and we're going to hit slice. Now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that I slice this in the same exact spot. So now I'm going to move my square over. And I'm going to hold the shift on it and then on the flourish. And now I'm going to slice that out.
So now I can X out the black parts. Move this over. And X that out. All right, so now go to text. And now we're going to type out our name. Let me move this out of the way. So do Francine. Now I have my general idea of how I want everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these out of the way. So now I need space. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to move. Make sure that's where I want it. Move this. So now I want to go around these two. And I want to align them so we're going to align left so this way I know that these are the same exact position and now I'm going to attach them and move them back into position all right so that looks good there now I'll move my friend seam I want to move them backwards. So now I'll move my Francine to right there. So now if you want to, you can do two different colors of vinyl, or you can change this so it's the same color. So I'm going to do mine so it's two colors. So I'm going to move it out of the way and then I'm going to attach everything here. So this way when I print it, this is all one and then I can do a separate color of vinyl or whatever I'm going to do. Um, so if I arrange it to the front, we can kind of see it better. Or you can do it as sublimation. So if you even wanted to, um, we'll duplicate this. And let's turn this into standard cut. And let's go into patterns, just so you could see the difference of what it would look like. We'll pick a pattern that I have in here. So now you can see it with like a different pattern. All right, so let's go over to Defont now and I'm gonna show you one more. So we're gonna hit download. And we're gonna install this circle font. Hit install. Now, when you install um, a new font into the computer, if you have your design space open, it won't recognize it. So just make sure you go in and you're going to refresh your design space. All right, so we're not going to use these for now. So I'm going to take all them, group it, and hide them out of the way. And hide this. And out of the way. So now that we have our font downloaded, let's go to text. 
and we're going to do key Now let's search for, I don't know. And then D e and G. So now as you can see, when you bring in the letters, they come up the same. So you don't have any real options of splitting it. Um, so the way that you're going to have to do it is you're going to have to slice out the letters. So T is my first one, B is my middle, and G is my last. We're doing this. So the best and the fastest way to do it is grab a square. Now I'm going to duplicate this because I'm going to need four of them. Move that out of my way. So T is my first letter, so I need the left side of the T. So we're going to slice out the other two parts. So put the square on top of it, hold the shift key, click on the back part, hit slice. So you can get rid of this, and you can get rid of this, and that. So now we have our T, so now our middle letter is B. So we have the middle part, so now we're going to have to slice out both sides. So shift, shift, slice. And you know what, I can just use the same square. So again, shift, slice, and slice. Get rid of that. We use another square. Right again, slice. There we go. All right, so now we need the end part of the G. So again, we're going to slice it out. X that out, X that out, so now here's our T, our B, alright, so now you have your, your monogram, so now we can do a bunch of different things, so what we can do is we can Excuse me, take a circle and have it the same size of this. And make it standard. Go to pattern. And then you can move this to the front now this would only work if you're doing like sublimation or any of that let me just see if we wind up here But there you go. So you could see how you can just change it. Now you could do this with um, vinyl. So you just do a solid piece of vinyl um, in the back. 
let me show you it as a solid color. Go back to basic. Do a pink. So you could do a solid as well. So hopefully you learned something. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment. All the likes do help as I am a newer channel. So it helps me get seen. So I do appreciate anybody who likes any of the videos and we'll see you on the next one.